It was good. I was actually impressed, and I think I tweeted, just tweeted something out there. He has gained so much experience, just like they all do, just like Canelo did from the loss to Floyd. Um, Blango, he, he'll, he'll be okay moving forward. It was a tremendous beating. He's gonna have to take a little time off, but he can deal with any of them other 68s out there. Canelo's by far the best in the division, hands down. So, you, you know, I spoke, he'll be okay. He'll I be spoke okay. to Matt Truman, they said they would love to do Caleb Plant versus Berlanga. That's a good ass like fight. A good, I just tweeted that out to you. I'd love to see that fight. Good ass fight. Think that would go? Good fight. Good fight. Belanga has gained, both of them have the necessary experience. That would be a war. It would be a war. What did you make of Caleb's performance tonight? I was kind of in the back, and I did like you know um, McCombie, but that was McCombie's Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Sometimes we step down a little bit to the play to the competition level of competition, but I thought overall that uh, Caleb did his thing. Leonard, 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 Leonard. Leonard. That'd be a good fight. I, 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 that's. That's the fight that I would love to see. You just have to wait and see. Leonard. Okay, you got to give props to Canelo. He's fighting all these guys, man. That's why all this bullshit that they talking about, he's scared of somebody. It's bullshit. David Benavides is my guy, but he put on the pants and just like everybody else, Canelo ain't scared of nobody. Leonard, question for you. Uh -huh. So yesterday after the weigh-in, uh, T.O.P. Hold up, let me say this. Got a new venture going. Get ready to be a WNBA. Doing my thing. Everybody check out Kiomi McMiller. Kiomi McMiller, remember that name. Everybody go and search her right now. Follow her, follow her on Instagram right now. She's a top dog. She goes to Rutgers right now. She's a freshman, and she is the future of college basketball and the WNBA. Okay, what's that? Just uh, one last question for you. Yesterday said that there was name in the hat for Javante. I believe you tweeted like a line. I just actually seen his pops in the thing, and I just said, and, and, and uh, I was in the lounge. I said, I done right now. You just gotta get the fuck out of here. Listen, no, he, they like I always ride them because they are what they are. You know, at the end of the day, but. You know, he, he throws out people's names. Like, you don't know what he's doing. They wanted 20 million to fight Haney, right? Wasn't that out there? Something like that. You know, he's just all over the place. He's just all it's over the place. It's a great fight, though. I mean, is that not, is that fight not? No, nah, no, nah, he's a good, Tim Fimo on, on some real shit. He's a good fighter. He can't fuck with Tank, though. He can't fuck with Tank. He can't fuck with Tank. <laughs> Ain't nobody fuck with Tank right now. Nobody. Nobody, nobody. fuck with Tank right now. Nobody. Tank is that dude. Yeah. Period. Period. You're gonna have to put Period. some. You're gonna have to put some. Right. There you go. Right. You have to put okay. Some go ahead. Ryan, how about Ryan? What about that fight? Would you like to see fight? Ryan Garcia. Who? Ryan Garcia. 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 Ryan Canelo versus Crawford, would you like to see that fight? Uh, I like to see all good fights. I like to see all good fights. I like to see all good fights. The fight I would love to see is Canelo and um, Benavidez. Oh, that'd be that's, great, that's, the, that's the great, <laughs> the biggest yeah, fight, everybody, I think. Well, yeah. Prompts to this guy's jacket, man. It's, oh, thank you. Oh, Andy, how are you feeling? I'm very good. I'm very excited for because of the rain out of boxing that we had tonight. That's good. What would you think about the fights tonight? I was impressed. You know, it was a good fight, uh, all of them. You know, I enjoyed Castro's fight with Fulton. I enjoyed uh, Elizondi Lara, you know, I, I appreciate good boxing skills. Um, I'm a big fan of Danny as well, so it's always good to see Danny Garcia. Um, and then just the main event, you know, the main event was, was, was crazy. What did you think about uh, Clint and McCombie? Did you like that fight? <laughs> it was a great fight. I forgot about that one. Um, I could have stolen the show uh, earlier because uh, McCombie came strong. He, you know, he sent, sent him to the canvas. He, um, he might have got him hurt with that left hook that they didn't count as a knockdown. But you gotta respect Kelly Plant. He's a, you know, he's he's a warrior. He's a, has a, a great heart. You gotta respect him for that. Also, what you, did you think overall, like Can uh, Canelo's performance with Belanga? Did you expect it to go all twelve rounds? I, I did not expect it to go twelve rounds, especially after that brutal left hook that sent him to the canvas. I was more impressed on how Berlanga got up from that left hook. Um, but you know, I take my hat up for both fighters, Canelo. You know, he obviously won very clear. You know, landing those big shots. And you know, it was very impressive also to see Berlanga take those shots. It's a tough fight, right so I'm here with the champ. What was your reaction to the fight, champ? I thought uh, Canelo put, a, put some shots on him, man. He took a lot of punishment that fight. Man, Edgar's a tough guy, man. Were you, impressed? Were you impressed with Edgar? Uh, yeah, on his toughness, man. You know, Canelo's real tricky in there, too. He, uh, 
he does a lot of different things in the ring that uh, makes guys think a lot, and I think he was thinking a lot. So for both I guys, wanted see, I wanted to see him go for broke, man. You know, it's, yeah. your, it's your big shot. Yeah. For both guys, who would you like to see him in there with next? Uh, I'd like to see Edgar with, with uh, Benavides. You know, it could be a good, it'd be a good, good fight. You know, between both of them. You know, Edgar's a big guy too. Uh, you know, and Canelo. You know, see where he goes, man. You know. Appreciate your time. Like Edgar champ. said, Thank he's you. the king, bro. He can pick who he wants. Pound for pound. You know. Yep. Thank you, champ. All right, brother, I'll see you. here at the spear. You feel me? Hey man, it's staying nice in here. Yo, Turk. Tell, tell the fans what we doing next. We want the nunches. Tell, tell, tell them we, we going for Canelo next. Yes. Tell Let's them. go. Canelo, come on. You heard it from him. We are ready. Canelo Crawford, the biggest fight in boxing. Let's get ready for the main event, y'all. But we stay ready, though. We stay ready. That way we don't got to get ready. Your fucking ass off. For sure, bro. I'm never super proud of you. Super I have never you. seen nobody stand up to that man like that. That's right. Never. That's nobody. Right. Yeah. That's right. You got knocked down third round, got a brawl. That's right. Word, word. Fighting back. He did better than a lot of people that you I You did better than like Jamel. Yeah. Jamel ran a whole fight. I, 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 I wasn't trying to say no I don't name. give a damn. I, I don't trying to say no name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On the road, though. Yeah, you fought yeah, better yeah. than Mugia? Yeah, right. All the Um. I can name a lot of guys. We got a lot of people respect. Everybody yeah. thought that was gonna be an easy fight. Everybody yeah. thought he was gonna get he white, get washed out, out, or like no, like he here with a lot of people respect. Yeah. And bro, you keep doing your thing, but we yeah. super proud of you. Edgar, you're gonna be world champ, I promise you. That's I know. Right. I know yeah. world yeah. champ. You know, if yeah. anybody know, I know. You're gonna be world champ. Um Caleb. <laughs> here we go. Just uh, wanted to know right here, Caleb. Just wanted to know, obviously you spoke about Canelo potentially, you know, us doing the map, him being your next opponent or an opponent you would like to get in the ring with in the near future. What were your thoughts on his fight with Berlanga and what did you think about Berlanga's performance as well? Berlanga, you know, not to be hated, but he didn't really went around. Um, he was on the defensive a lot. But uh, yeah, you know, being Canelo, being Berlanga, being Charlo, I think those are three uh, big fights that the boxing world love and three big fights that I love to be in as well. He said Canelo was supposed to finish him in eight rounds and that did not happen. Good conditioning, good training, but a good, the most important thing, good heart. And he did good. Canelo did amazing too. Two great champions. One of them, the Hanan to lose, young guy, 26 years old, 26 years old. And he had, he had a lot of the win, you know, but we lost, we probably lost already by decision. Vegas, nobody wins in decision, but hey, it's a good fight. Very happy with my guy. Well, what did you do with Berlanga? I mean, it's a strength condition and, he's a, and she's a chef. I do that nutrition as well, supplements, everything. Well, what was his accent? 
What is your what is your over on camp? What was changed? Because he looked a little bit. He looked pretty. No, no. We, we, CJ, what up? It's Kevin. It's Kevin Garcia with Fight Hype. Obviously, I got to get your reaction, CJ. I'm Puerto Rican. You Puerto Rican. Yeah. Edgar's from New York. 100%. He was a huge underdog. Sure. What's your opinion? How do you think everything went? Man, listen, man. Edgar's a tough kid, man. You know what I'm saying? This this is this his biggest fight. You know what I'm saying? Canelo Canelo's the best in the game. But at the end of the day, my my, my boy AB put up a great fight. So we 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 here we here, we here making a statement, bro. It's only the beginning. What do you think is next, Edgar? Just keep going up, brother. That's it. We're here. Like I said, this 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 is stamp right here. So it's up from here. Say less. Yo, CJ, appreciate Love, you. Fight hype. We out. Chepo. Chepo and Kevin con fight hype. Una pregunta, Chepo. ¿Qué piensas con la actuación de Canelo hoy? Muy buena actuación y muy buena actuación de Berlanga. Yo pienso que Berlanga hoy perdiendo ganó más. ¿Por qué? Porque ganó mucha experiencia en lo que, en lo que se gana en esa clase de peleas. Aprendió mucho y es un peleador joven con mucha vergüenza que todavía tiene mucho camino por delante. Just a trans day live for the Fight High Public. He said he's very happy with Canelo's performance and that even in losing, Berlanga won today. That he gave more uh, in the fight than people thought and that, yeah, he, he was happy with everything. I'm here with the legend himself, Jim Gray. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. What would you take from the fight tonight? Canelo systematically and methodically did everything right and, and gave him a clinic. It's a clinic. Berlanga showed a lot of heart tonight. He, he really stole the hardest from fans. What did you think of Berlanga's effort in his performance? A lot of heart. The guy was tough. He was taunting him after he, you know, he'd lose every exchange and he'd come back for more and taunted him. And, you know, he, 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 he's got a lot of promise. He's a young man, 27. It's his first loss. Losing to Canelo is no shame in that at all. Canelo is one of the greatest fighters ever of all time and uh, dominating this division, so uh, I think he's got a big future. Tough guy, really tough guy. What's the fight you want to see Canelo against? What's the next big Canelo fight? Whatever he wants to do, he's earned that right. So whether he goes, you know, whatever whatever direction he goes, if Bevo wins, he's uh, stated an interest in that. Uh, Benavides is going to be sitting out there. There's a lot of opportunities for him. Who knows, you know, who knows what exactly he'll do, but uh, whatever he does, He's earned that right. After a loss to a legend like Canelo, how does Berlanga bounce back? What can Berlanga do? He'll learn a lot from that, and he'll be fine. I mean, he's, you know, he needs to take some time. He just needs to rest. Good night. Uh, get some rest and uh, just reevaluate. You know, don't come back too soon. And learn from it, and he'll be great. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Gray. Thank you. Nice I to talk to you. All right. Hey, Rock. You over there, bro. Just finished watching Canelo versus. Berlanga, what was your take from the fight? Uh, Berlanga did a lot, a lot better than I expected, man. They do. We went the distance. He going from literally fighting journeymen and French contenders to fighting that all-time great. And he went the distance. And he ain't do bad. So I think he got a lot to be proud, proud about. You know what I mean? So. What yeah. you think about Canelo's performance? Do you think he was more? Like his old self, or you, did he look like he was on a decline to you? Now, I ain't gonna say with the decline, I'm saying it looked like he tried too hard, like he wanted to really get a knockout. And sometimes when you're trying too hard, like it don't come. But he a great fighter though, man, so. And he made a, a big bag tonight, so I ain't mad at him. For both guys, who would you like to see them in there with next? Uh, I don't know about Canelo, but I would rather see uh, Berlanga, like, take some real fights and kind of build up his performance. It's not a bad performance. You know what I'm saying? Of course, he's going to leave loss every round, but he can't go from prospect level to fighting all-time great like that. You know what I mean? But he, being as way he did do that, he didn't do bad, given the circumstances. Thank you, Tim. When, can we, no when are we going to see you again? Uh, hopefully, we're putting the years out. Thank you, Tim. Yep, Appreciate you, right you so much. Yep, right tonight. Nico. What's up, Nico? What's up? It's Kevin with Fight Hype. What do you think, Nico, about that fight? It was an amazing fight. It was an amazing fight. Uh, Berlanga did 
uh, way better than everyone thought he would, and yeah, it was an awesome night. And Caleb Plant, that fight was crazy. What do you What do you think is a testament more to? Uh, maybe Canelo slowing down, or Belanga just really prepared for the moment? No, just prepared for the moment. Canelo's not slowing down. He's the king right now, and uh, uh, you put Canelo against anyone else at that weight, and he'll take him out in the first six rounds. Berlanga Plant, that's a fight that could happen, that's right? That's a there. crazy fight. What do you that think about be, that? That would be a super skilled fight, and uh, everyone would tune in to watch that. For sure. Thank you, Nico. Have a good one, guys. Yes, sir. Big boy, can I ask you one question? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, be some boxing shit that's gonna make me look ignorant. No, no, I'm gonna ask you a music question, big boy. I'm gonna ask you a music. Make me look worse. No, all right, all right, all right. That, that, that cursing with Canelo was a great bit. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it was. It was a great, great. Yeah, bit. yeah, we just had a little curse session right now. I thought you were gonna <laughs> give him the the matter daddy. Oh man. Hey <laughs> <laughs> man. Matter Daddy and Curtin and Canelo are my top two right now. They're, they're hitting. They're they're hitting. Yeah. <laughs> Big boy, any thoughts at all on the Super Bowl halftime? Ken, any thoughts at all on all this controversy over Kendrick's uh, yeah. selection of, at the Super yep. Bowl show? I talked about it on my show. Can you share it with our fight hype public? They would love to hear it from you. Yeah, well, I talked about it on my show. Okay. What'd you say? I don't remember. No, I was just saying real shit, man. I felt like it was, I felt like it was Lil Wayne's year. You know what I'm saying? And everybody thought the same thing, bro. You're in New Orleans. It would have been great for the city. I'm thinking low-hanging fruit, you know? I don't hate that Kendrick got it. I love that Kendrick got it, you know? Facts. But also, I just felt like, oh, shit, if it was a time, that was that time, man. But, you know, I mean, shit, it is, it, that is what it is. I just, I just feel for Wayne, too, though. Like, I, I love what's going on, because that's me. But I feel that shit, too, man. And I thought he was, he was deserving of that Super Bowl, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and everybody else did, too, at the same time, beforehand, before the announcement. You don't think it's weird, especially with the next Super Bowl being in L.A., that they chose Kendrick this year instead of just letting a year go by and giving it to him next? I don't know. I wasn't on the board. There you go. <laughs> Big yeah, boy, I appreciate you. When you find Jay-Z, ask him. What do you think? Is, is he hating on Kendrick? <laughs> Enough said. All right, Ron, get off fighthype.com. Just a quick um, reaction to the Canelo Edgar Belonga fight. I think we can all agree that Edgar Belonga can take some punches. I mean, he endured a lot of punches from Canelo. We all knew that there was a huge experience difference between these two guys. And really, the question is from this performance, do you feel that Canelo Alvarez is able to go on 175 and fight? you know, Bivol if he beats Arthur, or does he beat David Benavides? Or even, you know, the fight that many people feel that would be kind of a a tough fight for Terrence Crawford, if, if Terrence Crawford would be able to crack the code. So um, this performance, I, I liked a little bit better than he did in the Mungia fight. The Mungia fight, he looked a little bit sluggish, but Mungia is a smaller guy moving up. More experienced than Edgar, but Edgar is a strong, young guy that claims that he rehydrates to 200 pounds. And he took it out to the distance. This isn't the knockout highlight that a lot of people thought that Canelo was going to get. So at this point, Canelo's power is there, but those highlight viral knockouts that it seems that you felt that may have came might not be the the norm anymore in Canelo Alvarez's career. He's fighting extremely big 
giant guys, and those things aren't really easy to do. Um, and you start to see those type of knockouts just over time, just not existing when guys are in their fourth or fifth weight classes, fighting guys that are just relatively, really big. One takeaway that I want to say about Edgar Belanga that hopefully he learned from this fight is that um, he's able to go the distance, but he definitely needs to work on not giving up his height and reach when he comes to fighting a smaller guy. I mean, he pretty much was in range the whole time of Canelo. And I'm not saying that that's only because of the fact that Canelo Alvarez was not putting himself in those type of position and creating those opportunities. But early on, I mean, little habits, hands down, um, shrinking down his size and um, not using his reach and his God gifted height that was given to him, 6'1", to a five, seven and a half guy shouldn't be that easy for someone to just immediately be in your range in like one or two rounds. So. But shout out to Edgar Belanger for daring to be great at a young age. He made a lot of money, so he didn't get knocked out. Got knocked down, got up, fought adversity, so he'll learn from this. And I think he'll be in a lot of exciting fights. He put a name to himself. And Canelo Alvarez is always, he has a lot of opportunities. He can choose who he wants. Does he want the Bilbo rematch? Does he want David Benavidez? Does he want Terrence Crawford? Regardless, I think we just want... Canelo to be in one of those type of fights, and hopefully we get one by early next year. Please give a round of applause to Edgar Berlinga and his entire team. Edgar came out and fought courageously and he really showed to the world that he certainly belongs at this extremely high world class level. Uh, Edgar, you know, you are about an hour removed from the fight. So, how was the experience like? What's going through your mind? Were you disappointed after that didn't take his way, but still came out and fought your hardest tonight? Um, first and foremost, I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ you know, for this opportunity. You know, winning there is a legend today, man. You know, we came up short. Obviously, you know, I'm winning the heart, you know, so, you know, I'm a little down, but, you know, I know I won the world without this performance, you know, that job, the third one. I came back and, you know, for the whole fight, you know, for the legend, man. So, a guy like me, right? You know, the whole world was against me, right? I was probably like zero to a hundred, you know, and went to a hundred and uh, my eyes, right? And just facing the legend, it's something different, you know, it's, uh, it's a blessing too, to share the way with him. Um, I'm excited, you know, I'm finally on my feet at the highest, highest level, or pinnacle of boxing, you know, and I feel like, you know, I handled, I handled it well, you know, we saw the fight great, and we fought a good, a great fight, you know, we gave the fans what they wanted to see from the war. You know, that's what makes things important to be with you, you know, when you go in the ring and share the ring together. Questions for Edgar Berlanga from the media. Questions? Straight back. Edgar Day Radio here. Heck of a performance, even in the loss. I wonder if you uh, take solace in the fact that you were able to go the distance with him in a fight that so many people thought you were going to be knocked out in the early part of the fight. Um, yeah, you know, like I said before, man, you know, the whole world was against me. You know, I was saying that it's you know, nobody believed me. Um, you know, I felt like I had probably like 20% of the world, you know, maybe 10% of the world believed in me. You know, they thought I was going to fight and knock out two, three rounds, you know. But it was a great fight, man. I knew, you know, that uh, it was going to be a great fight at the end of the day, man. You know, I'm a warrior. And uh, like I said before, you know, I was, I was calling this guy for four years. You know, and like I said, man, he's a legend. For, for me, but the, when he was young, and I left him with him after that loss, you know, so I gained a lot of experience when he came in the ring with him. You know, he's a great fighter, um, you know, but I know that he's I'm, I'm, I'm the future legend of the sport. So to follow up on that briefly, do you feel like that, even though this was not a win for you, and similar to what happened with Ed Allen losing to Floyd and Benjamin, that this will help you in the future, is that you're going to be confident that you're going to be taken seriously and you'll be able to hang with all the top stars that are out there after going 12 rounds and making the best, one of the best fighters of all time. Yeah, man, um, definitely I put the whole 116 pound division on notice. Um, I 
know that they know that I'm coming to fight. And this is, you know, facing another like Canelo, right? He, he's the he's the man. He's the, he's the top rope at 168. You know, there's no bigger than him. You know, at the 168 division, he's a Floyd Mayweather. He's a Manny Pacquiao. He's that type of guy. You know, when you fight him, it's like the consoles. You know, and I feel like I handled it, I handled it very well. You know. I gave my part, you know, people who laugh, right? But for real, for real, right? He's a guy that I looked up to, so no, man. You know, and I was I didn't want to tell him that, you know? I didn't want to tell him, yo, you like, you're like, you an idol to me. You know, I didn't want to say that because it's like, man, I want to fight this dude. But uh, he's somebody that we always study, that we always looked up to. And I wanted to fight him. I'm like, damn, I want to fight my idol. I never, I never told him, you know, I never told the media, I never told nobody. I felt like people would have really thought that I was going to go out there and just take a knee or something just to get the opportunity to fight my idol, you know. But I told him after the fight, I said, you're somebody that we look up to, you know, for many years. And, you know, it's a blessing to be here, you know. I'm not going to lie, this is crazy, you know, 22,000 sold out, you know, it's a blessing. This is the Felicidades por la, por la victoria, al menos antes de que llevas. Si no, en la final todo lo vimos. Que te dice que eres su ídolo. ¿Qué tan satisfecho te deja también en la parte personal que ahora también ya los comerciantes? Pues son, eres la figura sentir para ellos también. No, me siento muy contento porque me doy cuenta que es un deporte, el deseo muy bonito, el respeto eh, después del deportivismo, después de la pelea, eh, lo que dice muchas cosas y. Me siento muy bien que, que me haya dicho eso, ¿no? El, el, el ser su ídolo, yo, que haya tenido la oportunidad de tener su ídolo, pues sé cómo se siente y, y, y me siento muy contento, muy satisfecho con, con lo que pasó esta noche y, y, y le deseo todo lo mejor a la Canelo feels regarding your statement here in the press conference about how Canelo was his idol and he's really happy when I'm And Canelo says that, that, you know, that kind of statement, it feels great because it's something that means a lot to me when someone younger like that says that I'm his idol. And in the end, boxing is a beautiful sport and the kind of sportsmanship, the kind of respect that's shown after the fight, that's what boxing is all about. Ahorita voy a descansar, no tengo nada este, pensado. Después de platicar con Eddie, con, con Alejandro, con Luis, a ver qué es lo que, qué es lo que viene, pero no, no hay nada eh, que podamos adelantar ahorita. La verdad es que vamos a disfrutar esta victoria, voy a disfrutar de mi familia, que la extraño muchísimo. Y, y ya después veremos qué es lo que viene para mayo. The question was, what's up next for me, Terence Crawford or someone else, uh, what's your goal? And really, what I want to do is rest right now. I want to rest, I want to enjoy this victory, I want to be with my family, who I miss a lot, and then I'm going to get together with my people, and I'm going to decide what's next. Saúl, felicidades por el triunfo. ¿Nos puedes explicar si sentiste en algún momento la pelea que estaba cerca del knockout? ¿Nos puedes explicar? Al final del décimo asalto, te darás una vuelta, no sé si pensamos que ya había terminado el asalto o qué es lo que pasó ahí. Eh, sí, pues pude haber terminado la pelea en cualquier momento, pero como te digo, el problema también vino a pelear, a salir a, a hacer su trabajo. La verdad es que no me acuerdo de esa, de esa, de esa vuelta. Porque sonó la, sonó la campana o algo así, es decir, que sí. sí. Sí, pensé que se había sonado la campana y me dijo que ya cuando... Me dijo que no, pero no sé. Bueno, era una pregunta de dos preguntas. La primera pregunta fue si Canelo se sintió en el knockout, si Canelo se sintió en el fight, 
and then also some of my words were happening on the ground. I kind of turned around and there was general confusion there. Uh, well, the knockout, it could have happened at any point, but like I said before, my backup stood in front of me, he was quite the opponent, and he stood in there. Uh, and as far as the 10th round, I don't really remember what happened, uh, but yeah, it was, I turned around, it made me feel like the belt had run, but you know, it wasn't a deal. Hey, Canelo, how you doing? Naji from Segalto. Um, you know, you've had this big staple career, you know, constant wins after wins. Obviously, uh, you know, I know you said you got to take some time. Um, what does next feel like to you?